All right, moving on now. Um, what we're going to do is start taking this thing vertical. Um, our square footage right now is uh, just shy of 2,500. Um, we have a value of 2312. So um, this thing is 34 feet from the center point out there. So I don't know exactly how long the side is, but um, we'll figure it out. We could actually do this with different types of geometry too. Like we could use the rectangle, the primitive rectangle, if you're working with rectangles. The reason I chose polygon is because we're going to start sort of changing it up and, and testing many different types of footprints of a building at once as well. Um, but for now, let's start going vertical. So I'm going to kind of push this thing down here. Um, I'm going to create a set of floors, right? So a floor every 15 feet or something like that should do. Um, so I'm going to go to um, Transform, Euclidean, and I'm going to use Move. And this is kind of a simple way of doing this, but... Um, Anyway, we'll sh I'll show you just like some fancier ways of doing something like this uh, later too. But uh, so yeah, I'm going to move um, and I'm going to move this geometry. It defaults to the Z direction, but I'm going to have to go up. To, if I'm going to change that value, I'm going to go to vector, vector, and use unit Z. That's transform Euclidean. So I'm going to plug Z in there and then put a slider of um, 10 to 20. Set it right in the middle at 15. Oh. Okay. Um, so I could, I could only create one of these. I think I will probably, actually, you know what? I'm going to create two of these. So rather than this 15, I'm actually going to create a series of numbers. So let's go to set, sequence, and series. And we're going to start at 15. Get rid of that. Use one of these. I'm going to start this series at 15. Um, the step size is going to also be 15, but I'm going to leave that as two separate panels in case I want to change that. Um, and then I'm also going to have to uh, set what the number of values is. So let's say three values. So plug that in. And I get three extra floors. So I have my, my first floor, second floor, third floor, and fourth floor. <clears throat> so now we have four floors that we're testing for with a very similar profile here. Um, so what square footage am I targeting? Yeah, if I'm only testing for three, but I mean, imagine that these are floor plates, so the roof actually isn't represented because it, it doesn't get analyzed. So 10,000. 10, 10, yes, because the first floor, second floor, third floor, and fourth floor. So. Right, so 2,500, 2,500, 2,500, and 2,500. So there's this imaginary roof up here. Yeah, so um, 10,000. So anyway, uh, let's first get all of our geometry together before we go into the analysis. So I'm going to pull all this stuff aside for a moment. I'll pull that back here. Um, we have our first polygon, which is this. And then we have our three other polygons, which are those. Um, we're going to merge those back into one list. So let's go to um, tree and merge. First, we're going to put this polygon in. Then we're going to put these polygons in. And it's going to look like that. Um, it's going to say 0 and then 0, 0 with two separate groups. That's because we've operated and created a different branch. You guys understand that? Merge. It's under um, sets tree. Yes, it'll automatically add another node. It doesn't need a fill, um, but it'll keep adding them. Um, okay, guys, so I want to take a little sidebar and talk to you about this again. Who can tell me why 
this group has a zero and this group has two zeros. If you're paying attention, I just told you. Uh, close, not dimensions, but but no. trees, different different tree branches, right? So the first list, which is in D one, is only a single tree branch. That's what that means, because nothing has happened to it. All you did was just pass the information through. This has a second tree branch because we've actually moved it. We've done an operation, which means that it is, it is two, two branches to the data. Um, but the cool thing is we can just flatten this whole thing, and it just becomes one list. So, um, but that's what we need to do for it to work right. So um, basically, we went from one item to four items. That's all we did differently. So uh, I am going to plug in this uh, value into all the other values so that we're testing for all of them at once. Um, however, what you need to realize is that we have four items, but when we plug them into this value, we're going to get four areas of the same amount. So if I'm trying to test for 10,000, um, and then I plug my surfaces in here and my surfaces in is that surfaces? No. Um, yeah, that looks right. Yeah. Um, and then I've got, so my four surfaces, and then I have my four individual things that I'm testing. It's actually going to push them all up here, even though once I increase this square footage from 34 to 35, the area goes up to, there we go, um, it goes up to 2592, which is over 2500 each, which is over 10,000, but it's still showing green. Why? Anybody? Yeah. Exactly. It's the total amount of surfaces. So when it's in a list with four values of, 20, of over 2,500, it's reading each individual value and testing each individual value. What we need it to do is measure the overall combined area of that floor, uh, set of floors. So let's go to math, and I think it's under also under operators. There we go. Um, mass addition. So it you would love, I would love for it to say something like sum, but it doesn't. It's called mass addition. Um, math operators. Um, so when you plug in the area values, it's going to give you the overall value under R. That's the result of your mass addition. Um, what is PR? I forget. Is Partial like results. The panel there and put some yeah. So what's cool about this is that it also, we're not going to use this right now, but it also gives you a cumulative total of each value in the list as it gets added. So that could be pretty valuable too. But... Anyway, we're going to plug this into A, and now all of a sudden our surfaces get rerouted to uh, the false column. So now we're testing for 10,000, so <coughs> skinny tower, skinnier, wider, 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 up, oh, we're over. Now we got to go back down. Pretty powerful stuff, right? Okay, so let me clean this definition up a little bit. Um, I want to put down there. You guys should try and get in the habit of cleaning these things up every once in a while, too. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So that is the added, um, additive revised version. Okay. Cool. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a chance to catch up before we start doing a few other things to this.